welcome to another episode of ET Infra's Aviation Connect. Now today we are going to showcase you one of the upcoming eVTOL products in India, in development by a startup known as Sarla Aviation. One of the co-founders will highlight to us and demonstrate the scale model that is behind me and what the final product from Sarla Aviation is going to be like and how this new startup entity is trying to redefine the urban air mobility concept out here in India and what it augurs where for the urban connectivity that we desperately need in the country. Hi everyone, my name is Rakesh Gaukar. I'm one of the founder and uh, CTO of the company. So behind me what you see is a complete electric aircraft. It's a EV toll vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Uh, if you can see, we have um, three blades on each side, that is six altogether. Uh, uh, towards the end of the wing, what you can see is a tilt rotor that helps us propel forward as well as lift uh, also. And the, those two in the middle are very specifically for lift only. And at the back, there is a pusher that actually uh, helps you propel forward basically. So it's a, it's a six seater uh, with one pilot. Uh, it's a comp So I'm part of um, a startup that is called Sarla Aviation. Uh, it's a one year old company, uh, January 19th we finished our one year actually. So this what you see behind me is done in a very record time. Uh, we took almost one year to finish it with a very less capital of 1.5 million basically. If you compare with global standards, uh, many companies have taken four years to do that, to reach this level and uh, with a 50 million of uh, capital basically, right? So this is already kind of uh, a deep sick movement actually, I would say. Um, uh, so right now there's a charging going on on the other side you can also I'll, at later point I'll show you also if you can see it's very it's a fusion between a car and automotive and a aviation uh, you get in like a car but it uh, has all the advantages of an uh, of a flying bird basically um, you can see here that we will use our existing infrastructure of heli helicopter basically right so uh, like in bangalore there are almost so many buildings by norm they have helipads all around the city so we will actually use that infrastructure in our beginning uh, we have an mou signed with bangalore airport where that will serve as a hub and then there will be a, a lot of spokes like different points that will connect in the beginning we intend to connect a lot of um, a lot of um, uh, uh, you know places which does not require last mile uh, uh, solutions like uh, hospitals, like IT parks, like uh, five star hotels, and then slowly we'll have we'll have more vertipos uh, you know populated that we can give you much more different routes also uh, basically. So the plan is to launch this in year 2028 basically. So uh, where we are right now, this is a prototype uh, in May. Uh, we will start testing it. Uh, there's another bird being built at the same time while we are talking. Actually, our team is rigorously working on it. And uh, uh, for the next one year, two year or three year, we, we intend to spend a lot of time testing different iteration of this bird and also get different uh, uh, certification in place, basically. So when it comes to certification, uh, we are already on par uh, like, uh, like for example, DGCA is working on the certification um, part of it. There are two uh, two drafts already uh, out from DGCA, and um, there are also sandbox that they are organizing. We'll soon be part of those sandbox. Basically, right now, the, the last year we were so much busy with trying to get this done. Basically, so we didn't actually get involved a lot so much. But this is now from here on is our moment where we actually start. Uh, working together with DGCA, with MOCA. If you are, we have met a uh, civil aviation minister a couple of times. Uh, uh, he's very impressed with our progress. He is actually, uh, in his own words, he wants to be, uh, instead of being a regulator, he wants to be an accelerator. That's his approach. So uh, within his uh, period, we are guaranteed that we will have this uh, certified bird done, basically. I'll give you a, a complete overview of how it is. This is our cockpit. Uh, if you can zoom in, you can see how our cockpit look like, basically. Uh, so we have on the uh, uh, left-hand side, the whole navigation. The Basically, on the right-hand side, uh, we have all the status of the 
uh, aircraft basically uh, wherein you can see uh, how each aircraft behaves what all different components are uh, status like motors batteries so that we can take a call while we are actually uh, flying it it's all live by wire so you, the, this is a throttle control the other uh, joystick is for the uh, uh, you know the movement nose up nose down left and right yaw and all that movement basically uh, so unlike helicopter this since it's a live by wire it will remember even if you leave your hands basically so uh, in terms of redundancy i can tell you one thing is uh, we want to make this as safe as a aircraft and not uh, in comparison to a helicopter right like in helicopter there are millions of parts working in tandem if one fails uh, the entire thing uh, collapses basically and it comes down uh, crashing but whereas here we have a wing as i said it's a plane that has a vertical takeoff and landing uh, capabilities uh, each motor has dual motors inside uh, basically so even one fails we have enough power with the secondary motor to come down safely uh, even if one blade fails also let's assume one blade uh, breaks also we have still the rest of the propellers that can help you safely land uh, our battery is situated inside the wing uh, there are two more battery packs here and two that side so we have total four battery packs and uh, basically uh, in four battery packs also uh, uh, you can see that even if there is some problem with one battery pack uh, if we will still have three other battery packs to safely land it basically so at the redundancy level we are most uh, safer than a helicopter but we want to be as safe as a aircraft that you uh, ride uh, these days basically so what you see behind me is also the charging station that we have developed uh, as you can see it's currently also being powered by this charging station the the uh, currently the battery is being charged from here basically uh, you can see this uh, naka profile that we have is massive that we can store two battery packs that these are in longitudinal uh, uh, form basically um, yeah so it takes 20 minutes for uh, for us to charge the entire uh, aircraft and uh, we'll get a range with the current battery density the range that we are estimating is 160 kilometers basically So as we were speaking about the, um, um, you know, the, there is a lot of work being done by the government. Uh, we really appreciate that. Basically, we know that we'll be not behind in, in terms of certification. Uh, but in terms of testing, there could be a lot of things that we can do. Uh, right now, I know that there are certain sandbox places that are uh, being under discussion, basically. Uh, would be nice if... Uh, you know there are more such sandbox because right now let, let me say like right i am in karnataka uh, for me if i have to test this bird i, I would have to take it to chitraduga that is 4 hours from here basically uh, but there i would have to dismant uh, you know dismantle this aircraft go there uh, assemble it again once my work is done dismantle it again bring it back there is a lot of risk involved in that basically right i might lose my bird by just dismantling and assembling it a couple of times basically so i i i would say uh, in terms of testing because that is going to be a very big part and a very big uh, big chunk of our money is going to be invested in testing because we will have different iterations of it and i think in order to support that we would love the government of india to kind of uh, and the other states also to see this as a viable solution going forward see this as a very big industry that is as close to, uh, potentially will, will be as big as the automotive industry one day and employ so many people and uh, generate so much revenue basically that there, there could be much more test sites basically in terms of pli scheme also would be nicer i mean uh, there's uh, a lot of pli scheme that is already being given to the drone manufacturing what if that extends to this uh, 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 this domain also this is going to be uh, even bigger industry than uh, you know other industries that we are, uh, we are giving currently uh, i mean uh, in pli you, you can see in automotive there's there's a huge headwind that has created because of pli now we are actually a lot of adaptation happened because the price of those vehicles were very less during the initial phase of adaptation basically we would love the, those uh, schemes to be extended to this e-vitol industry as well basically um yeah and as i said testing is something that i am personally uh, would want to see a lot of test sites 
uh, what we you know this is a craft we have different envelopes we might require at least um, unhabited space uh, uh, what we look at is at least a three three kilometer stretch a radius that is defined where we can take off and land whenever we wish to a lot of uh, paperwork can be avoided so that we can do uh, ad hoc whenever we want to fly basically we would love if there are zones assigned uh, where there is like a contingency zone there is a red zone once the uh, plane goes out it can actually uh, come back again so we we are looking at it we we have people in that same field uh, we have hired few people from abroad also who will help us build that ecosystem we have already made uh, our understanding around what test flight uh, uh, area we are looking at we are ready to share this to different agencies who are looking to build this ecosystem in their state basically uh, which will help them uh, be the destination for other evitol companies who are looking to come and um, create this uh, this uh, technology in uh, in the respective states basically